Yes, hello everyone. Welcome on Upedia platform. I hope you all are fine. Guys, there is a good news for civil, electrical and mechanical engineering students because PHDCIL, Terry Hydro Development Corporation of India Limited, they are coming up with some vacancies for the position of engineer trainee. Okay. So, you know guys, THDCIL, Terry Hydro Development Corporation of India Limited, it's a kind of mini Ratna company, scheduled a mini Ratna company under the government. Uh, Indian government, PSC only, it works under, under the Ministry of Power, Government of India. Okay. So guys, there are some vacancies. Uh, today only, on 1st of July, they declared some notification. So based on GATE score 2022, guys, based on your GATE score, like if you appeared for GATE this year and your uh, GATE score is, you are having sufficient GATE score, then yes, with your GATE score 2022, you can apply for these positions. Okay. These are some of the brief details about the company. You can go to the details like where this particular company is having, uh, you know, plants. Okay. They are having some plant, hydro power plants also, solar power plant also. Okay. And they are deal dealing in wind power uh, plants also. Okay. So, uh, it's a kind of subsidiary of NDPC guys. Uh, this uh, Tehri Hydro Development Corporation of India Limited is a subsidiary of NDPC. So, they are having some vacancy for the position of engineer trainee civil, engineer trainee electrical, Engineer training mechanical. So total positions are 45, 20 for civil, 15 for uh, electrical and 10 for mechanical. Okay. These are some of the disabilities uh, like with which uh, like if a person student is having these kind of disabilities, then also he is eligible to apply. Okay. You can uh, check it here, the abbreviation, the meaning of these disabilities. And if you're having uh, such kind of disabilities, then also you are eligible to apply for these particular positions. Okay. So now let me tell you the eligibility criteria guys for BTEC uh, for civil, mechanical or electrical the criteria is same. For civil you need to have BTEC in civil but you need to have BTEC or B, B, BE or BSc engineering from a recognized Indian university institution approved by AICT with marks uh, more than uh, or equal to 65%. Okay including average of all semester. So in each and every semester you, you need to have a percentage more than 65% and at the same time you need to have percentage 65 in your 10th and 12th also. Upper age limit is 30 and from 1st of August they are going to check the age limit because 1st of August is the last date. From today they are going to start the application form procedure and 1st of August is the last date. So they are giving you the one month actually to apply for this particular position in uh, Terry Hydro Development uh, Corporation India Limited. So, uh, and similarly for electrical, the similar kind of uh, eligibility you can check. Uh, BTEC is there in electrical, power, electrical electronics, power system, high voltage. So, if you are having BTEC in this domain, then you are eligible for engineer trainee in electrical domain. So, 10-12 uh, percentage eligibility is same in all the domains like even mechanical also. Again in mechanical, BTEC in mechanical, mechanical automation, people are eligible to apply. Okay. So, this is again the percentage you can check overall average percentage 65 is required in each and every semester from a recognized institution approved by AICT. Guys, uh, the you know kind of uh, approximation round off uh, of the percentage is not allowed. If a person is having a percentage 64.699, he will be uh, you know not considered because he is not meeting the eligibility criteria. 65 is the minimum eligibility criteria. So, round off in percentage is not you know. Uh, uh, like you cannot go with kind of round off in the percentage okay that is not allowed actually so relaxation is there there is some kind of relaxation is there for SCST category 65 is a percentage required for general obc category students but if you are a SCST or pwd or ex serviceman category student then only pass marks are required so there is a relaxation not for uh, general obc but ews also but there is a relaxation for SCST pwd and ex serviceman student so you can apply even if you are having a passing marks. Okay, there are some more relaxation guys. You can check uh, based on the OBC, NCL, disability. There is a, some kind of relaxation. Upper age relaxation is also there. Okay, OBC, NCL ke liye, jo bhi government of India uh, rules ke according. I think OBC ko they give three year relaxation. SCST they give ten year relaxation, five year relaxation, and I think PWD they give ten year relaxation. So the same, uh, you know. Government of India guidelines, directives, they also they are uh, you know following. So those kind of relaxation age are there with these particular uh, category reservation. Selection process guys, they are going to initially shortlist you based on your GATE score, 202 score. 
so only gate 202 score uh, 2022 students are eligible so based on your 2020 uh, 2022 score only you are eligible to apply guys so they are not going to consider 2021 or 2022 score 2020 score okay they are only going to consider this year 2022 score only okay so based on that only you can apply normalized score they are going to uh, you know carry out some kind of normalization and based on that they are going to prepare the merit list and based on that they will shortlist you okay finally so only they are considering this particular gate score only they mentioned very clearly health standards some kind of medical norms you know to fulfill you can go to the thdc website and you can check whether you are meeting those medical standard medical norms also okay initially they are going to offer you the salary in the pay band of uh, 50000 to 160000 so this is a basic pay you are, you are going to start your salary with the 50000 this will be the basic pay and uh, initially they are going to observe uh, uh, absorb you as a uh, candidate engineer trainee on e2 grade okay and in this e2 grade they are going to offer you this particular pay scale after completion of the one year training they are going to observe you uh, uh, as a uh, engineer uh, trainee as a uh, you know kind of uh, officer senior engineer okay this is the position of executive trainee so initially they are going to offer you the executive training but after completion of the training training period they are going to offer you the position senior engineer okay and after that uh, you will get uh, start getting the salary pay in the salary in the pay band 60000 to 180000 so other benefits also they are going to provide you you can check here the details registration fees is there 600 is a registration fee so guys all general category students obc ncl ews if you are want to apply you need to pay the 600 non refundable fee but for sc st pwd there is no fee there is no registration fee okay service agreement bond is there guys 5 lakh is the service agreement bond for general obc and ews category students uh, and this agreement will be there for 3 months 3 years okay so after 3 year if you are completely uh, you know successfully if you are completing 3 years in this particular company then yes you will get this amount uh, refund you will get but otherwise in the uh, in before that time period if you are leaving the job then yes they are going they are not going to uh, give you this particular amount okay so you need to deposit this particular amount as a kind of service agreement bond okay so there is a bond of 2 lakh 2.5 lakhs for uh, sc st pwd and 5 lakhs for general obc and ews category So after one year, they are going to, uh, uh, you know, absorb you as an engineer, uh, engineer only, executive, executive engineer. You can check it here. Some more important instructions you can check. The start date of application is first July and the last date is first of August. So before that, you need to apply. Some more general instruction, guys. You can check it here. Uh, yes, because if you are eligible, if you are having sufficient grade score, then yes, it's a very good opportunity, guys. In this Nidhatna PSU, Government of India. then please apply timely you can uh, you, you can go into more detail so the last date already i mentioned first july uh, the start date is first july and the last date is first of august payment of fee is third of august before that you need to apply so some more things you can go into this particular notification guys then you can check all other eligibilities and all other required details also before filling the application form i hope guys this is going to help you and uh, you will get the information and uh, clearly uh, by comparing your gate score you will be able to conclude yes whether it is good to apply in this particular psu or not okay so uh, yes if you are meeting the eligibility criteria it is good to apply guys it is a very good uh, many ratna psu it is good to apply in this and yes for any other doubt query you can shoot your query in the comment section and for getting the regular job notification you can subscribe to our yourpedia youtube channel So keep preparing guys thank you very much and good day thank you